well, so today uh, we are trying to make some analytical HPLC uh, and this side. So this is the analytical HPLC and on the other side, so we have the, the preparative one. Um, it is uh, really recommended before you do any preparative one to do an analytical one before in order to find the right uh, separation uh, to um, find what is the, the right uh, method that you need to uh, transfer to the appropriate one. The analytical method is um, a preliminary uh, suggested and highly suggested and uh, to find the right re the right pressure the solvent system the flow rate uh, and uh, also the right column because that here we work with this is a, a thin column and here with the preparative we use uh, um, uh, a thick column the column get changed just in terms of the uh, not the polarity but uh, the volume and uh, how much amount can take for example because with analytical one we use only a tiny amount of um, we don't inject a lot just a teen micro letter or 20 but while you are using uh, the the preparative one, you need to inject uh, a significant amount. Yes, you need to load. So here we load the um, significant amount of solvent. So this is the preparative column. And here we have an analytical one. And here we have different uh, column it depends if you are working with the reverse phase or with analytical phase so you can try to choose the suitable one and here we have a flush column chromatographic is uh, also very important to get some um, separation Uh, we are using a uh, reverse phase system and acetonite trial and water basically here and initially we start with a reverse phase and uh, a polar column and um, after we can decide whether it is uh, practical and convenient or not